What's up outdoorsman, Greg here, and today we're talking all about climbing sticks. If you have watched any of the videos on my channel or followed along with me over the past couple of years, you know that I'm kind of a nut about climbing methods. I'm always experimenting with different types and styles and different setups. Well, when it comes to climbing sticks, I've pretty much settled on, on this option after I have tried nearly every single stick in the world, every single method you could ever imagine. These are what I've, I've kind of settled on. The only one that's left to try that I'm, I'm about to get a set are the bee sticks from, from Beast Hunting Gear from Dan Infall that he designed. So I'm gonna try those, but right now, this is what I've settled on. This is a set of Hawk Helium sticks that I cut down I did a full review on this on how to, or not a review, but a, a whole DIY section on how to make these sticks. Um, I've been using these for, for this whole season and I really like them. The other set that I've been using is a set that my buddy Ernie Power found. And this is a set of old leverage sticks. I don't think they make these anymore, but I really, really like these just because they're smaller. They pack up a little bit tighter than the Hawks. Uh, they're obviously shorter, but the, but the way that they stack is, is pretty awesome. They take up very little bulk. Uh, I, I always just carry them in. Whenever I, I'm walking into the tree, when I have something like this, I, I normally don't strap them to my pack. I normally carry my bow in one hand, and then I carry you know the climbing method in my other hand, just like this. Either way, uh, you really can't go wrong with these two. I use these on my recent trip to Missouri, and I was really, really happy with them. Now, the way I do it, is I pair them with a five-step climbing etrier, climbing aider, whatever you want to call it. And then I move it as I go. So I get about seven foot per stick. So you can see I've got three. So with this setup, I can get about 21 to 22 foot after I climb onto, onto my platform, my predator platform. But that's with a carry as you go aider. So I take this aider, set the first one up at ground level, obviously, get about seven foot using this aider climb up, tie on the next stick, uh, and I'm using these uh, Versa straps from Tethered, which, big fan of these, they're way lighter and less bulky than uh, traditional climbing ropes, but that's what I'm using. Um, and then I just carry this as I go, and then when I get to the top stick, this comes up with me, gets stuffed in my pack, so there's no aiders swinging around on the tree, nothing uh, for a deer to, to catch the deer's attention, which I've had that happen to me before. I've had a deer come in and when I used to hunt with muddy pro sticks and I had one of these attached to each stick, I have had a deer come in, see that aider swinging on the tree in the wind and then follow it up to me and I was busted. So I don't do that anymore. I take one aider and I carry it as I go. And this system has been totally awesome. For, for lightweight and bulk, it's tough to beat this. 20 feet with just a tiny little, uh, uh, amount of kit that you have to carry in with you. So when it comes to being light and efficient and bulk free, this is the go-to. Um, that's what I'm using right now. Uh, I can't recommend these enough. If you can find a set of these leverage sticks, you can only get them used. But if you can find them, what I really like about them is they have the folding double step, top and bottom. So I love that it folds up. It makes it nice and compact. Uh, and these actually, the way they're engineered, these leverage sticks, they kind of stick away from the tree at an angle, which is really nice. Second best option, in my opinion, is to get a set of Hawk Heliums right now. For the money, you cannot beat the Hawk Heliums. Now they come in a three-step stick. So they're actually, they actually stick out to about right here. Uh, they're a 32 inch stick, I believe, but I cut them down to 22 or 24 and there's a whole video on how I did that, but this is another great option. So climbing sticks, that's how I'm climbing the tree whenever it's illegal to use uh, bolts or screw in steps or spurs or anything like that. This is my method of choice. Now, before I jump into the, the woods and show you exactly how I use this aider, you should go check out my buddy Mike's film over at uh, Bow Hunter TV YouTube channel. He did a really good video climbing from with an aider from the ground all the way up to hunting height. And it's probably the best climbing aider video that I've ever seen. Now, he's not as good looking as me, so it won't be quite as enjoyable for you to watch, but you should still go over there and check it out because it's really good content. Now that you're at the tree, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it in real life. We've talked about it, now it's time for a demo. So when I get to the tree and I'm ready to climb, uh, there's a few things that I do first. Uh, first of all, uh, obviously I take the sticks apart and I, I get them ready to climb because my method, I don't have to go up and down the tree multiple times. I can go up one time, everything goes with me as I climb. 
So the first step obviously is to separate your sticks and we'll just kind of demonstrate it real slow. You could do this once you're practiced, you can do this really quickly, um, but I'm gonna go nice and slow and show you every, every step of the process. You don't wanna get the stick as high as you possibly can just because it, it just makes it more efficient and you're really maximizing each stick, you're getting the most height out of it possible. Now I'm using the Versa straps uh, by Tethered. As you can see, it's, um, most guys are probably gonna use a cam buckle strap or a ratchet strap or something like that. But this daisy chain style strap is, is really awesome. Um, this is my preferred method. Uh, that's what I'm using now. And one thing that I really like about it is, you know, once you get this, once you get the stick on the tree, you have this long tail and it will be the same with a, with a ratchet strap or a cam buckle strap or, you know, a traditional tree stick strap. Uh, but the Versa straps, they have this, um, shock cord attachment here at the bottom. You could add this to any stick. It would be really easy to do. The Versa straps happen to come with it. So what I do is I just wrap it around like so. And, uh, and then you basically just, you know, put it wherever it makes sense to keep that nice out of the way, nice and tidy. There's no strap hanging down to get in the way or to um, alert a deer that you're using the tree. I've actually had deer, I've actually had deer see that strap hanging down before. Back when I used to uh, use Muddy Pro sticks, I had an aider attached to each stick individually. And I've actually had a deer see that and follow it up the tree and bust me. So I don't do that anymore. Uh, I do it this way. I like having it, have, having everything nice and tidy. Uh, so the trick, the, the stick is on the tree. I'm gonna go ahead and place my aider. Um, the, the way it works is you just take the aider and place it right over the top of your stick. Just like, just like so. Now your aider is on the tree, it's attached. So you can go ahead and pull your, pull your top steps down or my, my stick has two, M maybe yours doesn't, doesn't really matter. Um, however it works for your stick. And now the method for getting all of your sticks up at once. The, the next thing that I do is I grab my next stick uh, and I go ahead and I loop the Versa strap over the top of my stick so I don't have to carry it up with me. Um, so that way, whenever I get up there, it's hanging, it's ready to go. Uh, so I'll just take this and loop it over so it's there. And then I'll take the, the actual stick and just lean it up against the tree, set it on the ground somewhere out of the way so I can access it when I'm ready. And now I take the third stick, I've got all three of my sticks. This one lives right here for the climb. I've got this rubber Night Eyes gear tie attached to one of the Molly loops on my uh, tethered saddle. Uh, that one just wraps around. There's a hundred ways you can do it, wrap it around something, and it just lives right there. So when I'm ready to get it, grab it off, ready to go. Now that we're ready to climb, first thing I'm gonna do is pass my lineman belt around the tree. For you tree stand guys, um, I hunt with the tree saddle, but if you use a, a tree stand, that's fine. Just make sure you use a, a safety harness. Uh, it's gonna give you basically like a third hand while you're going up with this lineman belt attached to my harness. Uh, it's a lot easier for me to work as I climb. So lineman belt is attached to the tree. I keep that always nice and high above my waist. I don't want it below my waist if at all possible. And then the process from here is really simple. You just Dig your boot into the tree. It's important that you keep that toe into the tree. You don't want it on the side. If it's on the side, that's no good. Um, you, want it, you want to use that toe, your toe as leverage. And then I'm just gonna push backwards. If you can see that, I'm pushing backwards into my saddle using this lineman belt. It's not just there for looks. I'm using it as I climb and it supports me. I mean, I could basically go hands-free and the lineman belt and my, the toe deep into, my toe deep into the tree is basically supporting everything. That's important. And then if you need to, you know, you can adjust your lineman belt, make it tighter, loosen it up. That's one of the benefits of this Ropeman One. You can adjust yourself as you go up. So now I'm just gonna take my time and climb, keeping my toe into the tree, Keeping that lineman belt up as I, uh, as I go, I wanna keep it advancing because I don't want that to be down low beneath me in case I were to slip. I got a better chance of catching myself if this thing is high. So that's kind of my process is I kind of pull up and 
slide it up and keep it connected. Um, so I'm, I'm always nice and safe because I definitely want to go home at the end of my hunt. Um, I'm doing this super slow for you guys just so you get the picture, but that's the whole process. So now I'm basically at my stick and uh, I just do that right there. So now I can climb up onto the, st onto the step or stick rather and my, my whole weight now is supported by the climbing stick. Uh, and the, the next thing that I would do is I go ahead and remove the aider because that's gonna come up with me as I climb. So I'm just gonna pull that off just like so. And uh, then what I do typically is, there's a lot of ways you can do it. You could put a carabiner on this and clip it to your saddle, clip it to your harness. You can clip it to here if you're comfortable opening this, probably wouldn't recommend that. What I typically do is just put it over my arm, over my shoulder like that. And then I take the, the rest of it and throw it over my neck. So now it's got to fall off my neck and my shoulder for it to hit the ground because you don't want to drop this thing. Next process is to grab that stick. I pull that up. Now I got my second stick and I can repeat the process. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to climb up, get on top of my climbing stick, bring my lineman belt up nice and high, tighten that thing down. I want to hold myself nice and tight to the tree. Uh, I don't want to slip at all. So I'm going to tighten that thing down. And then I'm just going to repeat the process here where I uh, set, the, set the next stick just like I did on the ground. And I'm going to do basically the same thing. Just pass it around the tree, get it up there, find the right versus strap loop. I'm going to do the same process. I'll wrap that versus strap up, make sure it's nice and tight. And that's not going anywhere. Okay, got my aider, pull it off my shoulder. Repeat the exact same process. Loop it over, set your stick, make sure everything is nice and where it belongs. Now at this point, I'm gonna give myself some slack in my lineman belt, move it up, and now I'm ready to climb. So you can see this process, it's really not that complicated. Uh, I'm going incredibly slow right now, just so I can talk and demonstrate everything slowly. But you can do this, you know, fairly quickly. Speed isn't really the goal. You really want to take your time, be quiet, um, you know, make small movements. As you, you notice, you didn't hear anything clanging around. Because I use those Versa straps, there's no buckles. This thing is uh, all webbing. There's nothing really to make noise. There's no clanging buckles around, no nothing like that. It's a very quiet process. Uh, but from here, I'm, I'm ready to go ahead and climb to the second stick. So that process is, again, exactly like it was um, on the ground. You're just getting your foot in there. So now the process is exactly uh, like it was on the ground. Foot into the tree, uh, toe into the tree, and then you know, you're know you just climbing with your lineman belt, advancing it as you climb, and you're just doing it nice and slow, nice and safe. You're not getting in a hurry. Um, again, no reason to get in a hurry. So just slowly climb the tree, take your time, Trust your lineman belt, push back into it, do everything slowly, and just really just pay attention to what you're doing. Now, as you can see, now I'm at the top and I would have one more stick. Now I'm gonna end it there because, well, just because I am. And you can probably barely see what I'm doing anyway. But now you see that I have this third stick here. All I have to do is reach back, undo it from my gear tie, and now, I can go ahead and attach my third stick, move the aider up with me, and I've got basically 20 plus feet with only three sticks and one aider. Now the process coming down is, here's that third stick that I'm not gonna install, so I'll just drop that one down. The process coming down is, is pretty simple as well. When you're standing on the bottom uh, two sticks, or two steps rather, just wanna fold your top step up, and again, this system really works best with a, a stick with double steps. You can use it with a single step, but it's, it's not as effective because to get the most height, you really need to be standing on your top, uh, the top of your stick. So if you have to stand down here on the bottom, you just can't get as high. And if you only have one step per side, 
it's really hard to do. I've done that before on lone wolf sticks where there's only one and it's definitely not as user friendly as having a two stick setup like these leverage sticks. But the process for coming down is, is pretty straightforward as well. You just kind of don't drop your aider is the most important thing. Loop it over your top of your sticks uh, or top of your steps and then you just climb down nice and slow. Give yourself plenty of room in your lineman belt to where you can really lean into it. Again, you want to use this lineman belt. Don't don't look at it as just a, a fail safe. Use it as a piece of gear that's really helping you do accomplish something. So then I'm just gonna come down, dig. I'm gonna dig that, that toe into the tree. It's very important. And I'm just gonna take my time, use my lineman belt, digging that toe in, leaning back. You can see this is like supporting my whole weight here. I mean, everything is, is in, this, in this saddle. Get my lineman belt nice and snug, holding me nice and tight against the tree. So I'm free to work with both hands. You notice I got both feet on top of my stick, so I'm real secure. I mean, you can even like put your heels on it. So you got, you really got a good purchase. You use your feet, you know, to push against the tree. I can bear hug the tree if I slip. I got both my hand, this is, a, this is the way to do it. Uh, and the process here is really simple. Just gonna go ahead and remove the stick, move that Versa strap, and I'll just leave the, leave the, um, aider on the tree for or on the stick for right now uh, you could take it off and loop it over your shoulder if you want there's really there's really no wrong way to do this uh, I probably go back and forth with how I do it too on on any hunt I probably do it different ways every time uh, but it's a it's a pretty simple process at the end of the day take the stick off and then you can either if you're trying to be nice and quiet you can you know Hook your stick back up to your saddle. If you don't really care about noise, if you're not coming back here, you can just drop it down. Don't drop your aider though. I'm gonna repeat that process again. Give myself a little bit of slack, come on down. Then when I'm standing here on the stick, I'm gonna go ahead and loop that over and reset it. You can see how easy that is. It's, uh, it's really not a complicated process. If you spend 15 minutes in a tree somewhere, you know, go, go to your favorite piece of public ground play around on a few different size trees is trees go to your favorite piece of public ground pick out some different size trees big trees small trees practice putting your stick on there practice climbing with the aider and after you've done it a handful of times you'll find that it's a really efficient system hopefully that helps hopefully it makes sense hopefully you learn something hopefully you understand that if you think outside the box you can use uh, gear in different ways will make you a more efficient hunter thanks for checking it out check out this video check out some of my other hunting and fishing content can you guys do something to go outside? Get outdoors.